All right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about all of the little things you need to do to conduct an accurate and precise indicator titration. Let's start by looking at how to load your burette into the clamp on the retort stand. Just push back the spring, slide the burette between the clamps, and then let it clip fall shut. You can then easily adjust the height up and down. The tap's also worth noting. When the tap is in the vertical position, aligned with the burette, that is on and the liquid will flow. When it's in the horizontal position, your burette is off and no liquid will come out. First thing we do, pop the funnel in the top and you're going to rinse your burette with the solution that you're going to titrate with. So to rinse, make sure the tap's shut and you've got a waste beaker underneath and then about half fill your burette like so. Then pop out the funnel, we're going to remove the burette from the clamp and then you can rotate the barrel sideways to rinse the walls of your burette. Before then, turning it upright again over a waste beaker and rinsing some through, through the tap so that you've rinsed your entire burette. Once it's rinsed and ready to go, pop the funnel back in the top. You're now going to fill your burette with the solution that you're going to titrate with, your titrant. Fill it up nice and high. As soon as you finish doing that, Take the funnel out straight away. You don't want your titrant dripping into your burette throughout your analysis. Once you've removed the funnel, turn on the tap flat out with your waste beaker underneath so run the liquid through the tap so that the entire burette is full. Then take a close look at the tap. Make sure that there are no air bubbles present between the tap and the tip of your burette. All right, once that's checked, take an initial reading off your burette to two decimal places. So this isn't just 1.2, you can see it's a fraction below the line, that's 1.22 mils. Make sure you note that down. Then we're ready to turn our attention to our sample. So add a few drops of your indicator, in this case I'm using phenolphthalein, a nice friendly indicator. Give it a swirl, and then you can pop your sample in underneath the tip of the burette and you're ready to begin titrating. I'm putting my left hand, my off hand on the tap so that I can use my right hand, my preferred hand to mix. And we're going to titrate. We're going to add our titrant from the burette and mix our reaction as we go. So like so, constant addition and mixing. At various stages during the titration, you should use your wash bottle to wash down the walls of your flask to make sure that all the chemicals are down in the reaction mixture. Once you start approaching the endpoint, once you get close to the end of your titration, you'll notice flashes of colour start appearing through your titration, even with the addition of just a drop or two each time, like so here. So that's a strong warning that we are close to the endpoint. When that starts happening, you want to be able to add very small volumes at a time, just one drop at a time, like I am here. So to ease in the tap round, and there is the addition of our single drop. Give it a mix, and that tells us we're not there yet, so another drop. And then when you get really, really close to the end, I need you to be able to add a half drop at a time to turn the tap until the drop just starts to form, but to turn it off before it falls, like so. You can then tap that half drop against the side of your flask, get your wash bottle and wash it in. And you want that half a drop to be the difference between not complete and complete. There is actually a very faint pink colour there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not too sure in the video. Let's go for another half drop so that we know. So get that half drop ready. There it is. Tap it against the side of your flask. Use your wash bottle. Wash it all in. And again, that half drop makes the solution go, in this case, from colourless to a faint light pink. So it's very clear here that we've reached our end point. So once you're happy with your endpoint, you then come back up to your burette, take your final reading, two decimal places, so in this case, 14.38. And then to calculate your titer, the amount delivered, it's just your final reading minus your initial reading. That's 14.38 minus 1.22, which gives you 13.16 mils. So that's how you conduct a titration. You should then do some replicates, so do this ideally in triplicate to make sure you've got the right result and until you are happy with your repeat results that they are all nice and concordant. So what happens if you overshoot your titration? What happens if you go past the endpoint? Well, in the case of phenolphthalein, you'll see a lovely bright pink solution like this. It might look great, but it's a sure sign that your titration didn't quite go to plan, so give it another go. That's everything that you need to be able to successfully complete an indicator titration. Good luck.